Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Which voice activated ATC is right for you? I don't know. Well, don't worry, we're gonna go over all of them coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. In today's video, we will go over three ATC applications, Say Intentions, Beyond ATC, and Pilot to ATC. We will first go over the developer's websites, talk about some of the features, but more importantly, the price. We will then go over each user interface and some of the features there. This will not be a tutorial, but just a brief overview. And lastly, I will go over the flight plan for today's flight, in which we will test all three ATC applications. Due to the length of the flight, which took about one hour, I'm going to skip over all of the non-essential parts, everything that ATC is not talking. I'm also going to play each ATC application in series with each other every time there is a correspondence between me and ATC. So this way you will be able to hear right away if there is any differences in the responses that we get from ATC. Now there's a couple things that we want to look out for on today's flight. One, that we're getting the correct taxi instructions. Two, that they give us the correct runways for our arrival and departure. And when I mean correct, I mean what we have input into our flight plan. And three, that it will consider obstacle avoidance once we're on our flight today. Similar to all of my other reviews, I'm going to keep all of my opinions to myself throughout today's flight. The goal of this video is to help point you in the right direction as to which ATC might be best for you. All three of these applications have pros and cons, and two of them are in beta stage. So that means they are constantly evolving every day. Now that being said, we're going to be doing an IFR flight today, and that's because Beyond ATC does not yet have VFR implementation, which will be coming. Saying that, I'm not trying to compare these applications against each other. Instead, I'm trying to show you the capabilities of each of the applications to help give you a better understanding as to which one might be best for you. Because the best ATC is relative to what you're looking for in an ATC application as the end user. If you have any comments or questions throughout today's video, Post them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back with you. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. The first ATC application we're going to go over is Say Intentions AI. Now all the links for these will be down below in the description. I have no affiliation with them at all and I paid for each of these with my own money. Once you click on the link for this page, you will take notice that Say Intentions has now partnered with a couple other developers. Navigraph, Simbrief, ActiveSky, and just recently, Xplane. Now, if we scroll down a little bit on this page, you will see some features that Say Intentions boasts about their software. Now, the main thing is that there's no rails, there's no menus, and you can pretty much ask the AI anything you want, and it will give you a response. How accurate that response is, well, <laughs> that's to be determined. The other thing that Say Intentions offers is a try it free feature in which you can try out the amazing software for 24 hours. I'm pretty sure you can use this on any airport as well during this 24 hour period. Don't quote me to that, but I think that is how it is. At the very top, we can click on the pricing page and that will give us the pricing for Say Intentions. Now, Say Intentions is a little bit different as far as pricing compared to the other two ATC applications. Say Intentions uses ChatGPT4 as of now, and because of that requires a monthly subscription to be able to give you a full AI interaction. With that also comes a premium price. As of right now, it is $29.95 a month or $2.95 for the entire year. Now, Say Intentions has just released 
that they have now upgraded to ChatGPT4. Because of that, that also introduces lower prices to Say Intentions. Now, the idea here is that Say Intentions is going to pass those price cuts along to all of us users. Now, before you get too excited, they first need to make sure that the ChatGPT4 platform is stable and they do not have to roll back to the previous. And that sometimes happens when there are some updates like this. So what they've decided is to roll out their new pricing come the expo in June, and that should reduce the monthly price as well as the yearly price. Now, for those of you who are purchasing a yearly plan from now until the expo, they have vowed to refund you whatever the difference is that they come up with as a final price. So I think that is fantastic. I really love the guys and gals over at Say Intention for being so transparent and upfront with all of their pricing. The next ATC application we're going to go over is Beyond ATC. When you click on this page, it will bring you up with a bunch of videos that you can watch, I guess, for reviews. And if you scroll all the way down, we'll boast some of their key features about their application. Now, with Beyond ATC, this is an AI-based ATC, but they've taken a little bit different approach. Their approach is they want to make it as affordable as possible to the end user. Yes! That's awesome! Because of that, they had to scale down some of the AI. Now, what I mean by that is, as you will see once we get into our flight, there's only so many things that we can ask beyond ATC. So because of that, there is some limitations when it comes to the ATC integration, but that is also reflected in the price, which we'll go over here in just a second. To purchase beyond ATC is a little bit different than, say, intentions. You must first download the user interface from here, and then you will purchase your plan once you have the user interface loaded. Beyond ATC is a one-time price of $29.99. Well, unless you want to use premium voices with the ATC service. You'll see down here below at the bottom, if you're going to be using premium voices, that is going to come at a more premium price. And you're going to pay per character or per letter of the ATC correspondence. But again, this is not a necessity. You can turn it on or you can turn it off and just use the basic voices and use that for the life of the application while still receiving updates for $29.99. The last ATC application we're going to go over is Pilot 2 ATC. Now, unlike the two previous ATC applications, this one is completely offline. Everything takes place on your PC. Now you might say, well, why would I want to use Pilot to ATC over the other two applications? Well, let's say, for instance, you do not have a fast internet connection. Going with an AI-based ATC might actually not work out for you if you have unstable internet or a very slow internet connection. Now, one thing that I did talk about the other two applications is that they are in a beta phase and everything is constantly changing with those two AI ATC applications. With Pilot to ATC, you are getting the full version of the ATC application. But that doesn't mean that they are not improving things. If we head over to the public betas, you will see all of the different betas and full releases that they have had on this application. I guess you could say Pilot to ATC is constantly evolving as well. Over on the download page, they also offer a free 10-day trial so that you can try it out for yourself. Now, one thing that's going to be different with this is that it needs another ancillary program to help connect it to your simulator. The program that it's going to use is FSU IPC, which is also free to download. I'll post links down below for that as well. Scrolling all the way to the bottom of this page, to purchase Pilot to ATC is a one-time price of $59.95 USD. The first user interface we're going to take a look at today is Say Intentions AI, 
At the very bottom, we have several different buttons here that we can use to take us to various places. Discord will take us to Discord. Pilot Portal will take us to our portal within, say, Intentions on their website. So there's a couple things in the Pilot Portal that you can adjust as well. We're not going to be going over those today. The main feature here is the Settings tab, and this will give us all the available options in the Say Intentions user interface. Now, one thing that you will notice that I'm going to be using during my flight is we can easily tune to a frequency by just double clicking on the frequency on the user interface. We also have an option to auto tune that into our standby frequency as well. At the bottom of these settings, we have several other tabs that we can run through. So you can set up the identity for your aircraft. You can set up your headset and your speakers. You can set up your push to talk under the multiplayer tab. We can also set this up for our chatter. Intercom will allow us to select a tour guide. Under miscellaneous will allow us to choose Active Sky as our weather source information. Next up is Beyond ATC. So for Beyond ATC, you will input your SimBrief pilot ID here. And that's going to be very important because Beyond ATC pulls all of your flight information from SimBrief. So that's where you're going to set up your IFR flight is using SimBrief. Now, for those of you who have never heard of SimBrief, I will also post a link down below in the description for that. Using SimBrief is very easy. I know it may look a little bit daunting looking at this for the first time, but all you need to do is to click on New Flight, enter a departure, enter an arrival, Enter your aircraft type. You'll come down and enter your units, either kilograms or pounds. You can then manually set your altitude, passengers, payload, or you can let it auto calculate. It will also auto calculate your runways for you, or you can change them individually. At the bottom, we can choose a flight plan. So we have several over here on the right hand side that we can choose or you can create your own flight plan, copy and paste into the selected route, and then click Analyze Route, and then it will use your own flight plan. So for instance, if I only wanted to use the first waypoint here, I can delete all of that, click Analyze Route, and there you go. And now you can create your own flight plan using your own waypoints that you can use for your IFR flight and beyond ATC and say intentions. Now, yes, I did say Say Intentions there because with Say Intentions, it also uses SimBrief to get your IFR flight information. So it's important that you set up a SimBrief flight plan if you want to use an IFR flight in either Beyond ATC or Say Intentions. At the bottom of the Say Intentions user interface, we have a couple options here. We have the roadmap for their future development, your account, in the options page is where we can set up all of the items within the user interface itself. We have low performance mode if you have a lower end PC. You can also set up call signs if you're using virtual airlines. You want to make sure that you set up your correct input device for your microphone and then also do a speech recognition test. On the lower left, we have all of our keybinds. Here's where you're going to set up your push to talk keybind for ATC. On the far right, here's where we have the various voices that we can use. Now, remember, I said earlier when we went over the website that we can either use basic voices or premium voices. Now, Beyond ATC took this one step further and they allow us to choose which type of voices we would like to hear depending on whether it's talking to us or whether ATC is talking to other traffic. The last user interface we're going over is Pilot to ATC. Now, as you can see, this user interface is much different than the other two. And that's because, remember, everything is going to be controlled within this application directly. So, whereas the other two applications for IFR, you need to create that flight plan on SimBrief, and then the application will download that information. With Pilot to ATC, we can create an IFR or VFR flight plan right here in the application itself. We also have the option to import a flight plan 
And you can either use Navigraph, SimBrief, FlightAware, a bunch of other options, or we can just import directly from SimBrief. That will bring in our current SimBrief flight plan. With Pilot to ATC, we can add in our departures, our arrivals, and approaches. At the very bottom, we can click on our SID, choose the SID, load that SID, and then it will populate in our flight plan. Same thing with the approach. We can choose an approach, choose the transition, and then hit load the approach. It will load all of that into our flight plan in which it will display everything over here on the left hand side. There's multiple different map menus that you can use for this. We can show all the frequencies, the weather, taxiways, runways, and approach information. Pilot to ATC is also connected to Navigraph, so it's going to use all of your Navigraph data. Now there's one last thing that I want to go over with the Pilot to ATC application that's going to be really important, and that is going to be training your PC to your voice. Now there's a way to do that in this application that's going to be very helpful and is a little bit different from the normal training that your PC will give you for voice recognition. If we go over here to Grammar Help, that'll bring up another grammar window for us. In this window is where we're going to be able to train our PC to various phrases that ATC will use. To do that, you will go down to the Train button, and that will open up another training menu. On this menu, you will see all the various training sessions on the left-hand side, from Clearance Delivery to Approach, on the right hand side, these are personal training phrases. For instance, I have the term RNAV. When I say the word RNAV, I want my PC to understand that I'm saying RNAV instead of me having to spell it out. So you would just enter the term, hit the plus, and then hit train, and you can train your PC to all of the terms that you want to use. But it is very important that you go through each of these training sessions on the left hand side, hitting train and making sure that your PC understands all of the phrases that you're going to be saying. All right, so that's going to finish us up with all the different user interfaces. Let's move over to today's flight plan. Today's flight plan will take us from Asheville Regional. We are going to be intercepting the week's waypoint as a transition, and we're going to be arriving at Tri Cities Regional. We're going to be coming in on the ILS-05 approach with the bow transition. So let's take a look at the departure chart so you know what to expect from ATC. The runway we're going to be departing from today is going to be runway 35, although it says we shouldn't be using that today. Uh, that's what we have in our flight plan. So according to our instructions, we're going to climb on a heading between 332 clockwise to 002 from the departure end of runway as assigned by ATC. So ATC should give us an assigned heading when we take off. For the routing section below, on radar vectors to intercept filed route fix, maintain 8000 or lower filed altitude, expect filed altitude, flight level within 10 minutes after departure. All right, so now let's take a look at the approach chart. Our initial transition is gonna be the bow waypoint, and that is going to be at a maximum of 6,000 feet, intercepting our final approach fix glide slope at 3,400 feet. The other thing to take notice of our flight today is we're going to be going over a big mountain range here in between. So we also want to make sure that ATC is not going to descend us into a mountain. All right, so that's our flight plan for today. Now, before we jump into the simulator, I just want to reiterate one more time that I am not trying to compare or put each of these ATC applications against each other. They are all special in their own way, and what is going to be best for you is really going to be dependent on your needs as well as your internet speed. So that's why I want to keep all of my opinions to myself and allow you to make the decision what might be best for you. So now, without any further ado, let's move in to the sim. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is to get our ATIS information. Now we can either do that by inputting the ATIS frequency in our comm radio, or we could just double click on the frequency in the Say Intentions user interface. So we'll go ahead and do that. 
1.10. Sky conditions, solid overcast at 10000 feet. Temperature 21. Dew point 17. Altimeter 2996. Arriving and departing runway 17. Visual approaches in use. Advise on course heading. And we can either tune our radios to that frequency or press the little headphones icon and then tap on the ATIS frequency to get the information. Asheville Airport Information Uniform, 1754 Zulu. Wind 175 at 6 visibility 10. Ceiling 9000 overcast. Temperature 22. Dew point 17. Altimeter 29094. Landing and departing runway 17. Read back all hold short instructions. Advise on initial... The first thing that we need to do, just like before, is to get our ATIS information. So we can hit the frequency tab and that'll bring up all the frequencies here. Asheville Regional Information Charlie, 1924 Zulu winds are 257 at 3 knots. Visibility 10 miles. 2000 scattered. 2800 broken. 3300 overcast. Temperature 20, dew point 18. Current altimeter is 29902. Arriving and departing runway 17. Asheville Regional Information Charlie, 1924 Zulu winds are... Asheville Ground, Cirrus November 8, Sierra Bravo. Ready to copy IFR clearance to Tri-City Regional with information November. ground clear to Tri-City Regional via the ABL-7 departure, then as filed. Climb and maintain 6,000. Expect 7,100 minutes after departure. Departure on 125.8. Squawk 2424. Clear to Tri-City Regional via the AVL-7 departure, then as filed. Climb and maintain 6,000. Expect 7,100 minutes after departure. Departure on 1258, squawking 2424, November 8, Sierra Bravo. Cirrus 8, Sierra Bravo, read back correct. Asheville Ground, Cirrus November 8, Sierra Bravo, ready to copy IFR clearance to Tri-City Regional. November 8, Sierra Bravo, Asheville Ground, cleared to Tri-Cities Regional TNVA Airport. Radar vectors weeks, then as filed. Maintain 6,000. Expect 7,400, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 125.8. Squawk 4544. Clear to Tri-City Regional. Radar vectors weeks, then as filed, maintain 6,000, expect 7,400, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency on 1258, squawking 4544, 8 Sierra Bravo. November 8 Sierra Bravo, read back correct. Call me back when ready for start or taxi. Roger. November 8, Sierra Bravo, ready to copy IFR clearance. November 8, Sierra Bravo is cleared to Kilo Tango Romeo, India. Climb via the AVL-7 departure, with the week's transition, then as filed. Expect departure runway 35. Climb to 6,000 feet via the departure. Expect higher clearances 2 minutes after departure. Departure on 125.8. Squawk 6505. November 8, Sierra Bravo is cleared to Kilo Tango, Romeo, India. Climb via the AVL-7 departure with the week's transition then is filed. Climb to 6,000 feet via the departure. Expect higher clearances two minutes after departure. Departure on 125.8. Squawk 6505. 8 Sierra Bravo. November 8 Sierra Bravo rear back correct. Altimeter is 2992. Let us know when you're ready to taxi. 
All right, before I call for our taxi instruction, here's an airport diagram so we can see if there's any issues with the instruction that they're gonna be giving us. So let's go ahead and do that. Asheville ground, Cirrus November 8 Sierra Bravo, South FBO ramp, ready to taxi IFR. Sierra Bravo, runway 35 via Echo Alpha Alpha 4, Bravo 3, cross runway 17, then Bravo. All right, so let's take a look at the instruction that they're giving us first. Uh, what they're asking us to do is to come across to Echo, down Alpha, Alpha 4, cross runway, Bravo 3, and then all the way down Bravo, there. Now, I think that's a little bit out of the way, so we're going to ask and see if we can amend those taxi instructions. Runway 35, requesting taxiways Echo, Alpha, Alpha 1. All right, so as you see here, it did recognize what I said, but it thought I said Alpha 4, and it gave me the same taxi instruction again. So we're just going to read back that taxi instruction and go with it. Runway 35 via Echo Alpha Alpha 4 Bravo 3 cross runway 17 then Bravo Cirrus November 8 Sierra Bravo And if you take a look there it didn't even register when I read back my taxi instruction Asheville ground Cirrus November 8 Sierra Bravo ready to cross runway 17 Sierra Bravo, runway 35 via Echo Alpha Alpha 4, Bravo 3, cross runway 17, then Bravo. Okay, so there you go. It didn't recognize that, so we're going to... All right, so let's repeat our taxi instruction again and see if we can cross the runway. Runway 35 via Echo Alpha Alpha 4, Bravo 3, cross runway 17, then Bravo, November 8, Sierra Bravo. All right, so that time it did register what I said. Asheville ground, 8 Sierra Bravo, runway 17, ready to cross. There's 8 Sierra Bravo, cross runway 17, continue via Bravo. Crossing runway 17, continue via Bravo, 8 Sierra Bravo. Asheville ground, Cirrus November 8 Sierra Bravo, South FBO ramp, ready to taxi IFR. November 8 Sierra Bravo, runway 17 taxi via Foxtrot, Alpha. Okay, so they are not following the flight plan because we should be going to 3-5. Runway 17 via Foxtrot Alpha, 8 Sierra Bravo. But if we were going to runway 17, if we look at this real quick, we would come down Foxtrot and all the way to Alpha, and those instructions are perfect. November 8 Sierra Bravo with information Charlie ready to taxi. November 8 Sierra Bravo taxi to runway 35 via taxiways Kilo, Alpha, hold short runway 35. Taxi to runway 35 via taxiways Kilo, Alpha, hold short runway 35, 8 Sierra Bravo. All right, so if we take a look at the airport diagram again for our taxi instructions. They're telling us runway 35 via Kilo, Alpha. Well, on the airport diagram, Kilo is up here. Alpha is correct, but Kilo is not correct. But if we take a look over here on the left to the pilot to ATC taxi map, it's actually giving us the correct taxi instruction by Echo Alpha. 
Tower, Cirrus November, 8 Sierra Bravo, runway Tree 5, ready for departure. Sierra Bravo, Asheville Tower, winds calm, runway 35, cleared for takeoff. Runway 35, cleared for takeoff, 8 Sierra Bravo. Asheville Tower, Cirrus, November, 8 Sierra Bravo, runway 17, ready for departure with information uniform. November 8 Sierra Bravo, Asheville Tower, wind 175 at 6, fly heading 170, Runway 17, cleared for takeoff. Fly heading 170, runway 17, cleared for takeoff, 8 Sierra Bravo. In 8 SB 8 Sierra Bravo contact tower on 121.1, have a great flight. Tower on 121.1, 8 Sierra Bravo. Asheville Tower, Cirrus November 8, Sierra Bravo, runway 35, ready for departure. Aircraft calling Asheville Tower, say again with your call sign. Okay. November 8, Sierra Bravo, runway 35, ready for departure. November 8 Sierra Bravo winds are 187 at 4 knots altimeter is 29 or 9 or 1 cleared for takeoff, runway 35. Cleared for takeoff, runway 35, November 8 Sierra Bravo. Cirrus 8 Sierra Bravo, contact departure. Contact departure, 8 Sierra Bravo. Departure, November 8 Sierra Bravo, climbing 6,000 feet. Sierra 8 Sierra Bravo, Asheville, approach radar contact. Turn right, heading 015 vectors to weak, then own navigation. Turn right, heading 015 vectors to weeks, then own navigation, 8 Sierra Bravo. Cirrus 8 Sierra Bravo, climb and maintain 7,000. Climb and maintain 7,000 feet, 8 Sierra Bravo. Cirrus 8 Sierra Bravo, climb and maintain 8,000. Climb and maintain 8,000, November 8, Sierra Bravo. November 8, Sierra Bravo, contact Asheville departure. Contact departure on 1258, 8, Sierra Bravo. Asheville departure, Cirrus November 8, Sierra Bravo, climbing 6,000 feet. November 8, Sierra Bravo, Asheville departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 7,400, altimeter 2994. Climb and maintain 7,400, November 8, Sierra Bravo. November 8, Sierra Bravo, turn left, heading 010. Left heading 010. 8 Sierra Bravo. No November 8 Sierra Bravo. Contact Atlanta Center 132.625. Atlanta Center on 132.625. 8 Sierra Bravo. Atlanta Center, Cirrus November 8, Sierra Bravo, climbing 7,400. 
November 8, Sierra Bravo, Atlanta Center, Roger. N8SB8 Sierra Bravo, turn right heading 015, then direct Whiskey Echo Alpha Kilo Sierra. Heading 015, direct to Whiskey Echo Alpha Kilo Sierra, November 8, Sierra Bravo. N8SB8 Sierra Bravo, contact Asheville, departure on 125.8. Have a good afternoon. Departure on 125.8, November 8, Sierra Bravo. All right. Departure, November 8, Sierra Bravo, climbing 6,000 feet. November 8, Sierra Bravo, good afternoon. Radar contact. N8SB8, Sierra Bravo, climb to 9,000 feet. Climb to 9 or 1,000 feet, 8 Sierra Bravo. November 8 Sierra Bravo contact Atlantis Center on 132.62. Have a nice day. Center on 132.62, November 8 Sierra Bravo. Atlanta Center, November 8 Sierra Bravo, climbing 9,000 feet. November 8 Sierra Bravo, good afternoon. Cirrus 8 Sierra Bravo, contact Atlanta Center on 132.625. Contact Atlanta Center on 132.625, 8 Sierra Bravo. Atlanta Center, Cirrus, November 8 Sierra Bravo, 8,000 feet. Cirrus, 8 Sierra Bravo, Atlanta Center. Good afternoon. Fletcher Altimeter, 2 9 or 9 or 4. Cirrus, 8 Sierra Bravo, Atlanta Center. Expect the ILS runway, 5 approach into Triad. Expect the ILS approach to runway 5 into Tri-City Regional. 8 Sierra Bravo. Cirrus 8 Sierra Bravo I, don't see a descent in your flight plan. Descend and maintain 5,000, then continue your descent at your own discretion. Descend and maintain 5,000, then continue my descent Cirrus. at my discretion. Cirrus 8 Sierra Bravo. November 8 Sierra Bravo, cleared direct week. Resume on navigation. Clear direct weeks. Resume on navigation. 8 Sierra Bravo. November 8 Sierra Bravo. Fly present heading. Descend and maintain 4000. Altimeter 2909 or 4. Tri Cities Regional TNVA Airport Landing Runway 5. Fly present heading, descend and maintain 4,000, Tri-Cities Regional Airport, landing runway 5, 8 Sierra Bravo. Okay, so here's the deal. If I were to descend right now to 4,000 feet, I would wind up hitting this mountain right in front of us. November 8 Sierra Bravo, turn right, heading 010, vectors for the approach. Right heading 010, vectors for the approach. November 8, Sierra Bravo. Contact Tri-City Approach 134.425. Tri-City Approach on 134.425, 8 Sierra Bravo. Tri-City Approach, Cirrus, November 8, Sierra Bravo, 7,400 feet. Descending 4,000. November 8, Sierra Bravo. Verify information, Golf. Affirmative. Have information, Golf. 8, Sierra Bravo. 
November 8, Sierra Bravo, Tri-City Approach, Altimeter 2901, expect the visual approach, runway 5. Expect visual approach for runway 5, 8 Sierra Bravo. November 8, Sierra Bravo, expect the ILS approach to runway 05 at Tree Cities. Expect the ILS approach to runway 5, November 8, Sierra Bravo. November 8, Sierra Bravo, contact Tree City approach on 125.5. Enjoy your afternoon. Approach on 125.5, November 8, Sierra Bravo. November 8, Sierra Bravo, 9,000 feet. November 8, Sierra Bravo, 9,000 feet. November 8, Sierra Bravo, 9,000 feet. Radio check. November 8, Sierra Bravo, you are loud and clear. November 8, Sierra Bravo, 9,000 feet. November 8, Sierra Bravo, you are off course. Turn left heading 335 to return to course. I know why that happened. Left heading 335, November 8, Sierra Bravo. Yeah, if we look at the flight plan over here on the left, I chose a different initial approach fix. I did not choose bow because we were coming out from here, so that's why. November 8, Sierra Bravo, descend to 7,200 feet. Altimeter is 2988 at Tri-Cities. November 8, Sierra Bravo, resume navigation. Descend to 7,200 feet, November 8, Sierra Bravo, resuming own navigation. November 8, Sierra Bravo, descend to 5,700 feet, clear for ILS approach runway 05, contact tower on 119.5, have a good one. Cleared for the ILS approach runway 05, tower on 119.5, November 8, Sierra Bravo. Tri-City Approach, Cirrus November 8, Sierra Bravo, descending 5,000 feet. Cirrus 8, Sierra Bravo, Tri-City Approach, good afternoon. Altimeter 29904. Cirrus 8, Sierra Bravo, Tri-City Approach. Contact Tri Tower on 119.5. Tri City Tower on 1195, 8 Sierra Bravo. Tri City Tower, Cirrus November, 8 Sierra Bravo. One approach for the ILS 5. Cirrus 8 Sierra Bravo, Tri-Tower, turn left, heading 215 vectors for the ILS runway 5 approach. Cirrus 8 Sierra Bravo, Tri-Tower, turn left, heading 220. Turn left, heading 220, 8 Sierra Bravo. Cirrus 8 Sierra Bravo, 2 miles from CFRJJ. Turn right, heading 015, descend and maintain 3500 until established on the localizer. Cleared for the ILS runway 5 approach. Turn right, heading 015, descend and maintain 3500 until established on the localizer. Cleared for the ILS runway 5 approach. 8 Sierra Bravo.
Cirrus 8 Sierra Bravo, 4 miles from CFRJJ. Turn right, heading 030. Descend and maintain 3500 until established on the localizer. Cleared for the ILS runway, 5 approach. Turn right, heading 030, descend and maintain 3500 until established on the localizer. Clear for the ILS runway 5 approach, 8 Sierra Bravo. November 8 Sierra Bravo, airport is at your 12 o'clock 14 miles. Report the field in sight. Looking for field, 8 Sierra Bravo. Aircraft be advised, information hotel now, current, altimeter, 29 or 9 or 1. Field in sight, 8 Sierra Bravo. November 8 Sierra Bravo, cleared visual approach, runway 5. Cleared visual approach, runway 5, 8 Sierra Bravo. November 8, Sierra Bravo. Contact Tri-City Tower 119.5. Okay. Tri-City Tower 119.5. 8, Sierra Bravo. Tri-City Tower, Cirrus 8, Sierra Bravo. Inbound runway 5. November 8, Sierra Bravo. Tri-City Tower. Wind 105 at 5, runway 5 cleared to land. Cleared to land, runway 5, 8 Sierra Bravo. Tower, November 8 Sierra Bravo, descending 5,700 feet. November 8 Sierra Bravo, this is Tree City Tower on 119.5, go ahead. November 8 Sierra Bravo, descending to 5,700 feet. November 8, Sierra Bravo, good afternoon. Continue ILS to runway 05, call when established on final. Continue ILS approach to runway 05. I will call when established on final, November 8, Sierra Bravo. Cirrus 8, Sierra Bravo, wind 006 at 11, runway 5 clear to land. Runway 5 cleared to land, Cirrus 8 Sierra Bravo. Sierra Bravo, welcome to try. Contact ground on 121.7. Contact ground on 1217, 8 Sierra Bravo. Alright, once again, let's take a look at the airport diagram here. You'll see we're on Alpha, and we're going to ask to go to the South General Aviation ramp. So let's see how they do. Try ground Cirrus 8 Sierra Bravo. Request taxi to South GA ramp. Bravo taxi to South Georgia ramp via Echo Alpha, Alpha 4, Bravo 3, cross runway 17, then Bravo. Tri ground, Cirrus 8 Sierra Bravo, request taxi to the South General Aviation ramp. Bravo taxi to South General Aviation ramp via Yankee cross runway 23, then Romeo Yankee. 
All right, so now let's take a look at the taxi instructions we were just given. Now keep in mind we are using a Navigraph airport chart and we are also using the Navigraph airport information for our taxi instructions on say intentions. You can see the South GA ramp is directly in front of us and the instructions that ATC has just given us is to go to Yankee, cross runway 23, Yankee to Romeo, and then Romeo back to Yankee. November 8th, Sierra Bravo, exit left at Foxtrot. So, um, all right, so let's take a look. November 8th, Sierra no, Bravo, keep bugging me. exit left at Foxtrot. Exit left at Foxtrot, 8 Sierra Bravo. So if we take a look at the airport diagram, there is no Foxtrot. I'm at Whiskey right now. I was going to turn off there. You have Victor and Tango, Yankee. There's no Foxtrot. November 8, Sierra Bravo. Contact ground 121.7. Ground on 121.7, 8 Sierra Bravo. All right, so now let's request the South General Aviation Ramp, the same as we did before. Cirrus November, 8 Sierra Bravo, taxiway Alpha, request taxi to the South General Aviation Ramp. November, 8 Sierra Bravo, welcome to Tri-Cities Regional TNVA Airport. Stay parking or advise if need assignment. So as you'll see here, you need to know the actual parking spot that you want to go to. So you can't just say, I want to go to a specific area of the airport. You've got to know what spot that you want to go to. November 8 Sierra Bravo established on the localizer. November 8 Sierra Bravo winds are light and variable clear to land runway 05 clear to land runway 05 November 8 Sierra Bravo November 8 Sierra Bravo exit runway when able all right so we're gonna turn the exact same spot where I did every other time November 8 Sierra Bravo is clear of the active November 8 Sierra Bravo, welcome to Tree Cities Contact Ground on 121.7. Enjoy your afternoon. Ground on 121.7, November 8 Sierra Bravo. November 8 Sierra Bravo, request taxi to General Aviation Ramp. November 8, Sierra Bravo Taxi to General Aviation Parking via Taxiways Alpha, Charlie, Romeo, hold short runway 09, and runway 23, and runway 27. Alright, so that's going to finish us up for today. What do you think about all three applications? Do you own any? And how many do you own? Which one do you like best? Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks everybody for joining us on the channel. If you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.